Okay guys, so on the bench today we have another guitar that was purchased at a Goodwill. Somebody paid $20 for this and he brought it in to me and he's like, hey man, will you buy this guitar? And I was slightly hesitant to buy this guitar because I have a lot of guitars that, you know, I, I priced it about $100. Let me show you the hallway in my store. Okay guys, so here's what I'm talking about. This is the hallway in my store and I have all these guitars and they're all priced at $100. I think there's 28, maybe 30 of them back here now. And so this is why I'm kind of hesitating on buying any more guitars, you know, for 40 bucks or whatever I'm paying for these things. I have a lot of these guitars. This video is brought to you by Swiss Picks. It's not just a pick, it's a science. Available at Zim's Guitars or at www.swisspicks.com. Yeah, so I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I have a lot of inexpensive guitars here at the store. Let's test this one. Yeah, it, it needs a little bit of work. So, uh, I'm going to uh, pull the strings off of it. I'm going to try to shine up the body. Uh, this uh, tone pot right here is just pretty much stuck. So I'm going to take the back place off, plates off, clean it all up, and uh, put it back in the hallway with all my other $100 guitars. So here we go. Let's get started. A lot of dust in here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. All right, so let's just spray this pot out right here. See if we can get this to turn. It is really stuck on there good. I'm going to just carefully try to pry it off of here a little bit. It is really stuck in there. I think this has been glued on. I'm going to have to break it off. There we go. There we go. Spray it one more time. Might as well spray the volume while we're in here. That seems to be working good now and this one's pretty much broke but I have a whole bunch of these in, in so I'm just gonna throw that one away all right so the first thing I'm going to do is just I'm gonna put a little bit of furniture polish on it actually I'm gonna put a lot on it a couple of shop rags
Okay, it's looking better already. I'm gonna flip it over. And uh, do the back here a little bit. So this guitar is made by Washburn and I haven't really showed you guys the headstock yet but made by Washburn the HOB-E the House of Blues I'm going to spray some up here on the headstock And when guitars are this dirty, I just I just take the, the furniture polish to them. Because it does a good job with all the dust. Years and years of dirt. So here we go. Here's what our headstock looks like. It's got nice tuners on it and everything. Imported tuners. Maple neck. I can see the scarf joint right here. It looks solid. There's no uh, there's no big dents or anything in it. So uh, I mean, it's a good beginner's guitar. It does have a lot of scratching and stuff through here. All right. So our fret ends are pretty rough. So I'm going to take my Stumac fret file. And I'm just going to hit the corners like this. One swipe. This is a brand new file that I just bought from Stumac. Um, only had it for about a month now. Now I know there's some luthiers and uh, they want at least a hundred dollars just to touch the frets. Okay, I'm not that kind of a guy. If I have the guitar in front of me and I'm doing a restring and it's something that I own, I won't do this to a customer's guitar, but if I own the guitar and I'm trying to resell it, because that's what I do for a living, I will go ahead and I will take the five or ten minutes that it takes to hit these fret ends. Because I know these are beginner guitars and a lot of beginners, they're not going to know that what the fret ends honestly should feel like. But if a, uh, if a real professional guitar player comes in, or somebody that just, uh, you know, a good guitar player. And if he happens to pick this up for any reason, like, hey, maybe it's going to be a gift for somebody. And he feels that it has really nice fret ends. Then he's more inclined to buy it for somebody as a gift. It's harder to get up into these neighborhood right here but that is okay see that's the extent of it right there oh and they're so much better 
just that quickly. So I'm always up for spending a few minutes like that to make this guitar better. Okay, now I'm going to take my fret guard. And we're just going to put our fret guard on here and I have a little thousand grit sandpaper. And I'm just going to hit the frets. And if you guys watch my channel, I really appreciate it. But if you guys watch my channel, you've seen me do this a hundred times now. Every guitar that I own, this is just the quickest, easiest way to shine these frets up. Now I do have all the Stumac Micro Mesh. But um, I think, you know, that, that process is better if you mask off the entire fretboard. And I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm just going to hit these real quick. Okay. So, there we have it. It shined them up. Kind of hit the fret ends. Okay, now one last thing. We're going to take uh, some Music Nomad F1 oil. And I'll put a couple drops of this on here. And then with one of my shop rags, there's the front door right there. So let me uh, just kind of spread this on here like that. And uh, I'll just let this soak in for a while. And a customer just walked in the front door, so I'm just going to let that soak. Hi Mark, I'm here. Okay, so that has really soaked in nicely there, and there's hardly any um, excess that needs wiped off, but but we'll kind of try to wipe it off of here, and some got over here, but yeah, you know, it, okay, that's the test right there, the fret end test. I know McKnight uses a little um, sock kind of thing, right? A foot footy, I don't know what they call it. But if you take a paper towel and you run it against the side of the frets, right? See, you got a little bit of fret sprout happening here. But uh, overall, that's one way to kind of test your fret ends. You know, but just with that one or two swipes of my file, it, it made a big difference on these fret ends. You're not going to get cut. So, yeah. So there. All right. So, um, very nice lady was just in the store. <clears throat> and she mentioned that her husband, who lives in Iowa, um, watches the channel so thank you guys for watching I sold her a t-shirt for her husband so thank you guys for watching all right so this thing is ready for strings so let's put some strings on it go ahead and roll the jingle Today's string choice. SIT stay in tune strings power wound nickel 9 through 42 extra light Perfect for this guitar. And, might I say, very cost effective. So, an inexpensive string on an inexpensive guitar, but a very awesome sounding quality string. 
they're they're not junk these things are awesome strings never had any problems I've never heard anybody complain about them made in the USA SIT strings I'm gonna go ahead and snug the tuners up here make sure that they're tight that helps with tuning stability just make sure that the tuners are Tight. It just takes a second. So they package these strings where the low E string and the G string are in the same package. Stay in tune string company. I talked to these guys out at the NAM show. And a great bunch of guys. And uh, I sell these strings for five dollars and ninety nine cents for a pack. And what is cool about them is they give you extra strings inside. So you open up a pack, and instead of getting six strings in here, you end up with eight strings because they give you an extra high E string, and they give you the extra B string. So you see right here, here's my A, uh, here's my a string. They give you two B strings, and like I said, two high E strings. So being in a used guitar shop, it is always nice to have extra strings laying around. And they do the same thing with the 10 gauge set. And so when, uh, when you happen upon a guitar in a Goodwill, Try to make sure that, for one thing, all the tuners are on the guitar and they're functioning. Because you're not getting such a great deal if, if the tuners are broke. Okay? And then, I know that a lot of times, there's no place to test a guitar at a Goodwill. But um, just keep in mind that... You know, the guitar has to be completely there. If it's missing pickups and missing knobs and uh, missing bridge pieces or saddles or something, then it's almost not worth your time and your effort after you uh, dig up all those parts. But fortunately for me, uh, being in business here for like seven years now, I, I have a lot of parts laying around. So I'm usually pretty good if I need, you know, I have a drawer full of old tuners. And I have a little uh, case full of extra saddles, you know, I have a drawer full of bridge parts. I have a lot of that stuff laying around. I have a drawer full of old Squire potentiometers and all kinds of stuff like that laying around. And I can usually, without putting any more money into a guitar like this, except for what it cost me for a pack of strings, then, um, you know, I don't have to put a lot of money or any money at all except for the strings. Okay, so I found a brand new knob. I have a box of them. And hopefully this will fit on there. And it does, so that's good. Let's tune it up. Gonna go ahead and stretch the strings out a little bit. And this just basically makes sure that the string, the ball end, is seated down in the bridge nicely. Go 
to be careful on these higher strings because you will break them, they'll snap. And I'm going to gonna run this saddle back a little bit. And this one just a little. And then I'm going to let this one out a little bit. Okay. Let's tune it up. Okay, so it's pretty close to being intonated now. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and I've got my notched straight edge. Is this short scale or long scale? This guitar is a long scale, so I put my straight edge on there. And let's look at the neck. Oh, that's got some, uh, that's got some backbow to it. So the truss rod is nice and tight. And if it's not fretting out anywhere right here, I think we're in good shape with this one. The output jack seems nice and secure. Oh, it's a little loose, but it's okay. Nice low action on this thing. Super thin neck. plays great. There you have it guys. It's a little Washburn straight out of the Goodwill. $25 guitar find. Plays really nice. Everybody have a great day and keep your eyes out for guitars when you're at those Goodwills. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.